if she's still alive right now. She had a grip when I picked her up. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a video that I feel is really important to me. I've put this video off for days now because I just am still not sure how it's gonna come together and I want it to be a good source for people who might be experiencing this or might have experienced it and not known like what it was. So there is something called tarantula impaction, which is basically where the tarantula can't go to the bathroom. There's usually kind of like a plug or something that blocks them off and they just kind of can't relieve themselves. So they will continuously eat, but not be able to expel it pretty much. Can't poop. So this is something that I heard about, but only because I have seen Tom Moran talk about it. I don't even know exactly where to start, but I guess we'll start in December. I got my e Campus Stratus Pink Zebra Beauty, and this is actually a really rare find. I don't think I've ever seen one for sale at any expo I've gone to. Isn't she so gorgeous? Oh, and her name is Mew. She is, was my favorite tarantula, probably. I featured her in several videos. Hey everybody, it's Tarantula Cat, and I'm gonna show you my new E Campus Stratus. And these things are incredibly difficult to come by. She was an adult female. This is a really rare species to come across. It's just not a common species that I see for sale. In fact, I had never seen this species for sale until I purchased her. I'm sure you've heard about them because Exotics Lair usually recommends them as the best beginner tarantula. They kind of look like a cross between an Aphonopelmus samani and a Gramostola pulchropes, and they're super chill. I also named her Mew because she had these really pretty pink hairs, and it just reminded me of the Pokemon Mew. Anyway, so a few weeks ago, after noticing for a while that she hadn't taken any prey, I was filming a video and she was featured in it. Normally I don't recommend ever digging a tarantula up unless you have like a really good suspicion and in this case I just had this like gut feeling that something was wrong. So I did dig her up and I found her in Death Girl which was really odd to me because she was regularly misted down. I did offer her food, you know. The only thing I could really think of at that time was that she was probably really old and probably wild caught. So anyway, I did get her to come back successfully. Within a few hours, she was walking around acting pretty normal after I hydrated her. So that was really good. She drank for a really long time. She started walking around and I just kind of figured that eventually she would go back to eating. I tried to feed her several times after that and she just would not eat. I started getting really frustrated and I was monitoring her really closely. I had her out, um, her enclosure out on the floor by my bed and I just kept checking on her and like trying not to bother her but like just seeing if she was okay. If you recall, I posted a selfie with her maybe like a week and a half ago. The reason why I had her out was because I actually pinch grabbed her to take a look at her fangs because I thought maybe she broke them or something. And then while she was out, I took, you know, that selfie, which, she was looking really nice. But yeah, her fangs were fine and I just kind of looked at her and I couldn't figure out what was wrong. But I did notice that her butt looked kind of weird. It was just a little like crusty and I thought it, it was probably just webbing. But I was a little suspicious because like I said, I had heard of impaction. So when I noticed that her bum was kind of weird, I started really getting concerned. And then about a week later, I found her going back into death curl just randomly in her enclosure. And at that point, it, I was just stumped. I had consulted with so many people, I just couldn't, we couldn't figure it out. So at this point, I was really concerned and I ended up posting it in the tarantula community group. Right away, the Spider-Man commented on it. His channel will also be linked below. Thank you so much, Alan. And he said, it's impaction that's when I was kind of like okay that's like the verification that I was maybe looking for let's try to unclog her so right away I got a q-tip and I wet it with some warm water and I just kind of tried to work it out of her she was very good at complying I had no issues if you have a more defensive species though like they might you might not be so lucky it's starting to rain, sorry guys. Eventually, Mike from KC Tarantulas was in town and he came over to kind of help assist me a little bit. 
And I pinch grabbed her yet again and soaked her bum in the water for about 30 seconds. Like, look at her, dude. That is just not a good sign. She's in total death curl. Did she even move when you picked her up? Yeah, she did. Oh, I think I might be getting it. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, at this point, I don't even know if it matters. I don't know about. What do you think? I think it's, it's worth a try. Oh, it's coming. It's Maybe coming. Do you see it? Yeah. There it is. I don't even know if she's still alive right now. She had a grip when I picked her up. It just, she relieved herself a lot, like a lot. Oh my gosh. What do you think of that? Um, I don't know, it was pretty gross. Do you want to describe what it was like? Uh, well, once you got the hard, um, impacted piece off of there, it basically just came out. I'm pretty sure that she hadn't gone to the bathroom since before I got her in December. She probably didn't even go to the bathroom since the last time she molted. There is a theory that this can happen because of a defect in a molt, and that is possible. There's just lots of theories, but there's no definitive answer. We don't really know why this happens or how it happens, just that it happens. After I got her to relieve herself, she continued to just kind of leak. I posted about it a little bit on my Instagram, and that's when Tom Moran reached out. He had the same issue. And I noticed she got very, very lethargic, was just kind of lounging around, almost looking like she was starting to go into the death curl. I came home from a walk a few moments ago, and we discovered her kind of crunched up next to her water dish in a full death curl. I'm sharing this because it's something that doesn't happen often. I've had it once before, and I want to show what we've done. She is still alive, barely, and what I noticed was this spinneret here, if you look, it's swollen big time at the base, and this one's folded back the way it should be. She's obviously had no control over this spinneret. So what I'm going to do now is I'm, I'm going to drip some water into her mouth, hopefully try to bring her back. It's still cleaning off the back of it and trying to get the impacted feces out, but notice it is starting to move. We've dripped water in its mouth a couple times. Couldn't quite tell if it's drinking or not, but it's definitely, she's moving now, which is hopefully a good sign. No, she did not make it. Um, about 1 a.m. last night when I went to bed, I checked on her and she was in full death curl, no signs of life whatsoever. As soon as I relieved my tarantula, she came out of death curl and it was really hopeful. It seemed like that was what she needed and she was doing better because she actually got out of death curl and walked a little bit. I can't believe she's walking now. Let's get her water now. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. I was really happy about that. And the same thing happened to Tom Moran with his tarantula. He was able to relieve her and she started moving a little bit. So you guys kind of see like the parallels in these stories. It's very similar. They stopped eating, they get relieved, they seem a tiny bit better. And then unfortunately, both his and mine passed away about 12 hours after being relieved of it so Mew did not make it it was a devastating loss it was the worst tarantula loss that I've had thus far like it was it, it was really horrifying going through this all the roller coaster of it the guessing games not knowing what's wrong not to mention you know helping her relieve herself was kind of really difficult it was really yeah, it was not good. And I mean, Tom Moran also said that it shook him as well. He said that it was really difficult for him. And it's like, you know, no tarantula loss is easy, I guess. But this is like, it was so bad. Like it was so bad. I know a lot of people have been asking if she made it or whatever, but just, I wanted to be sure, first of all, because I have had tarantulas be in death curl for over 24 hours and then be okay. And then I also just kind of wanted to collect myself a little bit and then just make a video explaining like the whole thing and talking about Tom Moran's experience as well, because they are almost completely parallel. It was really nice of him to reach out. You, if you didn't know, like, you know, Tom Moran is a really great source of information and 
I know a lot of people like to, for some reason, like they like to put channels against each other just because maybe we do things differently or we have like different like ways of making videos or whatever. There's like a whole divide on that thing, which is a completely different video. But Tom Moran is a really great channel and he's always been a really good support for my channel. He will help pretty much just about anybody. When I was going through this loss um, and even before then, with the situation. The only reason why I knew that this existed was because of his blog and because of his video. That's whose information I relied on while this happened. And that's motivated me even more to make this video because there weren't a lot of sources out there. There was only his, only his. That's all I could find. So of course I wanted to make this video and tell people what happened and explain the symptoms and the outcome because I mean, in this hobby, that's what we have to base our experiences off off of is other people's experiences. We don't have much else, you know. So I've also talked with several others who have gone through this. Like when I was speaking with Tom Moran, he said that so many people probably have lost their tarantulas to this and just never known that impaction was a thing. By the time they start displaying symptoms, it's usually too late, unfortunately because internal damage is done. But I have heard some people who were able to clear it and then had to continue to clear it because I guess maybe it is some kind of issue with the molt or something's going wrong with the tarantula where they can't do it themselves. There is a theory that if you continue to clear it and then they molt that they'll be better. So it's just kind of getting them to survive to that next molt, but that's no guarantee. Basically the prognosis is not good. These are the symptoms. This is what you can try to do and that's all you can really do. So if you if you do lose your tarantula to this, you know, it's just, it it is nice to know it's not just you, it's happened to other people. It happened to one of my rarest favorite female adult tarantulas and same with Tom Moran. He hasn't been able to find that species since. So it just kind of stinks. It really does. If you do catch it really early, you have a lot better of a chance of them surviving. Yeah, it's really hard. She was a really great tarantula, so. I, I am looking for another e Stratus. I don't think anybody has them for sale anywhere. If somebody does, um, you could reach out to me. This is my email. I would like to find another e Stratus, even if it's a sling. I want to name it Mewtwo. So that is what happened. That is the outcome. I wish it was a better one. I hoped it would be a better one. I hoped that I would be making this video weeks from now saying that she's all better, but that is just not what happened. In order to make this video not too completely depressing, I did get a new edition. Actually, the day that she passed, I did go out and I got a Brachypilma Shridori. I think that's how you say it. Mexican black velvet. So this is a really cool rare species that I've wanted for a very long time. They're kind of rare, they're kind of pricey, but I was just, I, I guess I needed that retail therapy, but I guess that's really all I have to say for now. Um, I hope that this doesn't happen to you. I hope, or your tarantula, I hope that this does not happen to your tarantula. If it does happen to your tarantula, if your tarantula is acting weird, not eating out, a lot going in and out of death curl yeah just a whole plethora of weird symptoms check their butt and try to relieve them if you can but don't be surprised if they get clogged up again shortly after and don't be surprised if they don't survive it because it does cause a lot of internal damage hopefully you can catch it before that happens All right, thanks for watching. Like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not and you want to be. Don't forget I have an Instagram that I use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. All right, thank you.